Hello, what I have here is the new 2018 third generation Google Chromecast. Uh, same basic form factor as the second generation Chromecast. Same basic features, except this is more powerful and it will support uh, faster Wi-Fi than the previous one and support 60 frames per second full 1080p HD content. So I'm gonna get on with an unboxing of it so you can just have a look at it. And in a part two, I'm going to show a comparison between the performance of this versus the second generation model. I was uh, streaming a Netflix show, uh, Vanderdash episode, and it was uh, stuttering when playing it back, streaming it from my laptop. So I'm gonna try show you a comparison in my second video. Uh, you can see it stuttering and puttering about on the second gen, whereas I'm expecting it will be nice and smooth on this model. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on to the um, and packaging here. This will be a little bit awkward as I'm doing everything one-handed. You know what? Well, I'm gonna pause and go back. And now that the Sullivan is cut, I will pop that open and we will get to very basic packaging. It's more subdued than the second generation, which had a more prominent uh, gloss and a, a white, large Google logo. Same deal though, as far as connecting, this connects directly to your television through the HDMI. You have a cord. And you have a brick for power. So this is going to be your micro USB cable. I can't get this out one-handed. To set it up, you're going to download Google Home and connect. This is the instruction. So put power into your TV, put in your HDMI port, switch to your, your TV input, download the Google Home app and set it up. You're basically going to connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot that's going to be part of your uh, the Chromecast. So there's our cable. I'd say this is about a three foot cable, give or take, maybe longer, maybe four feet. So that's about it with the brief unboxing and overview of the product. So watch part two where, where I will show you if it's really worthwhile going from two to three. If that program goes from stuttering to running smooth using the third generation, then this was more than worthwhile getting. Thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe to make sure you're up to date on my video. Hello. So instead of uh, doing a separate video, I figured I will do part of the same video, my review of the performance between the Chromecast second gen and the third gen. Uh, so with this particular title played from the laptop streaming to the TV. And the verdict is um, yes, the third gen absolutely does improve the performance. Uh, the second gen, there was a lot of audio stuttering throughout the film, which made it pretty much unwatchable and occasional frame jumping. On the uh, third gen, it does smooth it out considerably, making it from unwatchable to certainly watchable. Well, not perfect, certainly watchable. So it absolutely does help. And, uh, and I'm liking it. Um, and it might even be better still if I had uh, an even higher end Wi-Fi router over here for a better bandwidth. So, but that will be another test later on. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.